Hello and welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to once again go over glyph scripting, in particular a script that is used or can be used to uh, create OH topology or butterfly topology from H topology on a block uh, in PointWise. You can find the script on our GitHub page, github.com forward slash PointWise. We'll search the repository for Butterfly Maker, highlight Butterfly Maker, and you can download the script here. Moving to PointWise, you'll notice on screen I have two structured blocks. Block 2 has a circular face in which H topology was used, but as you can see uh, in the regions of the vertices of the connectors, uh, there are some elements here with maxima, high maximum included angles, and to um, remediate that, we're going to switch from the H topology to an OH topology using the script. Let's launch the script. If you go to Script, Execute, I'll take a second to review the GUI here for this script. On the left-hand side, there will be a list of all the available structure blocks. Uh, you can select them like this, uh, or you can choose to select them interactively uh, by clicking this button here. Uh, you can select the blocks that way as well. Uh, and then on the right hand side of this GUI, the first option you have is the direction for the conversion. In our case, we're going to use K to uh, convert in the Z direction. Uh, you can choose all if you like. Uh, the H region 3D scaler is a 3D vector used to scale the butterfly topology. That third component uh, is only used when all is selected as a uh, direction for conversion. Uh, the grid points on the O-grid ribs, uh, you would uh, put a value here, and I'll show you what that means in just a second. Uh, and then, of course, you can propagate the topology. If there are adjacent grids in the direction of the conversion, like we have in our case that you see there, uh, you can choose to propagate the topology to that adjacent grid by selecting or enabling that part of the feature there. Uh, and then, of course, you can preview the topology change. Uh, and to circle back, the grid points on O-grid ribs, uh, that connector there is the O-grid rib, and whatever value you put here is the dimension that will be applied to that connector. Uh, once you've got the, the conversion that you'd like, you hit Run uh, and OK to update the script, uh, and you finally have uh, finished your topology conversion. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions, uh, feel free to drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.